Hello there. Let's quickly show you how to uh, load a video in and then export it uh, with audio. I think that would sort of cover that. So with that, let's get started, as most videos say. How about we just get on, get on with it? Let's get on with it. How about that? Sounds good, doesn't it? So here we go. So clickety click. So first thing is get rid of these two panels. So that's the N key and the T key. And then we need to hopefully click and drag down so we split the view. And then on this view, bottom view here, we're going to change that to a change that to a video sequence editor. The top view as well it says here that one. It's also going to be a video sequence editor. We're going to flip the bar to the top, flip that guy to the top. So that's cool. Then we're going to go to um, add uh, movie. Gonna jump up a couple and scroll on down. Let's go to where we were a bit ago. Any time today. This is very it's quite slow at scrolling, but you know it is an alpha version. It will get quicker. So we do part two again. Add, add movie to strip, and we'll put it sort of there-ish, and then we can zoom out and see where it's gone. It always goes to two point one. You know what? It doesn't matter. The other thing we need to do is view. Uh, 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 sorry, wrong one. View. No, we'll be cool with that. Okay, we'll call that. Let's zoom out a bit. And so let's do. Um, let's move this to zero. All right, let's go view. Why have we got that in point hundreds and stuff? Go to here zero. So I can right hand click to sorry, left hand click to drag, go down to zero, which is about there. Guy this one, he's on zero. Not happy. There we go. Oops, there we go. Okay, so we can zoom in a bit. And um, what we're gonna do, we're gonna set the start to a hundred. Okay, I'm gonna set the end to 200. So we're going to, all we're going to do is render 100 frames. So blah 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 blah. Be cool with that. And right and click is for moving the timeline. Uh, we need to select uh, the A key to select both. Um, I can open this up here. You do have the option to display the waveform in here. You need to um, unpack it and cache it. But um, I just did that and it crashed it because I was also recording the screen. Didn't like it. But you can unpack and cache. We're not going to do it here because I don't want to do two crashes at once. Right, so blah blah blah. Uh, uh, this is your numeric thing for the for whatever you've got selected. So the, the top thing here is the top thing here is the audio. Okay, you can unpack that. You can also unpack the video if you want to unpack it. But we're not going to go and do that. So that will do me. And we can get rid of this. Click on this bit here and drag it back out of the way. Let's move this and get a bit more room on here. Drag that over. Okay, top view. Uh, we need to change this over to a image preview so we can see the video. Okay, and this white area at here, if we right and click on here, this is a bit of the video we're actually going to go and export. And over on our render panel up here, let's go and change that so it's 50% uh, size of HD, so 5 0, enter. So that's 50%. And I think it's good and great. Let's go and say the output is not going to be PNG. The output is going to be XVID. And we're going to change the place it's going to go to as well. So let's, uh, let's go to D drive. And let's go to da -da 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 -da, searching for the R's. Where's the R's? There we go. Robo rig. Okay, and we'll say it's called Robo Rig, and the file name is called uh, Test. And we'll say Accept. That's accepted the word Test. Then Accept to the location and the word Test. And down here under Output, going to crash again in a minute. Okay, so we're good with that. So it's Xvid um, encoding down here. We'll say it's AVI Xvid. And so the audio codec is going to be MP3, and that's good. We can do some post-processing and all the whatever. We're not going to do that though. So that's all good. We've set everything up now. 
So now all we need to do now is render this part of the video out. And with that, we we'll go to render, and we go to render animation, and that should do it. And now it's going through the frames at the top. So we're nearly done. Okay, and we're done. So now we can go back to previous, so back into the interface. And we can reduce that down. And go and find Robo Rig. And find the one called Test. And there you go. So we've got the video and the audio out. And that is how to get the video and the audio out. That's it. Done deal. And that's it, yeah. Okay, so pretty simple. Um, there you go. Done deal.